Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her, on her shoulders. Uh, I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No, 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 no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't uh, like them. Uh, not a very comforting writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. <laughs> yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Yeah. And strengthen, strengthen my bond with me, my bonds with all of you girls. Except for Sayori. She's my childhood friend, I shouldn't notice her. Isn't that right, Cactus? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we are back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare, me, uh, stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> Cactus! You, you all, uh, I'm defenseless against this curse. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? Four cute girls looking sad at me. So convincing! That is. If writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Excluding Sayori. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey! You really did scare me for a moment. Huh! If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed! Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Cactus, I look forward to see how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, can I really impre impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety pulling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up the food. Hey Cactus, since we're already here, then you want to welcome together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Well, 
and with that, the two of us depart the classroom room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica! Would I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Except Sayori, she's my childhood friend. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Okay, this is the part where we write a poem. So, for my first run, for my first play at this game, I'm going to go for Natsuki, because Sayori is our childhood friend. So, Sayori likes sweet things, she's... Sayori, I said Natsuki, we're going for Natsuki. Uh, she likes cute things. So let's start. Uh, before that, I'll save here. I'm right on my save file. Okay, let her down. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, Natsuki... Baba. Yeah. I know some... I... I know some words and some don't tweet. Oh! Yeah, I forgot that was for our childhood friend. Um, clumsy seems more of Sayori. Hot. Oh, no! Um, parfait. Um, jump. Um, Strawberry Kiss Kiss or cheeks or silly Kiss. Yeah Um Cute is I think cute is for Sayori so Determination Where is Chara? Frisk, where are you? Pure oh Um email um, hot milk chocolate. Chocolate. Mm. Skipping vacation marshmallow. Sure. Um, anime. Roo, I was going to say romance. Maybe that's a Yoris. Which one do I choose? Love? Romance? No. Please don't be Sayori. Fuck. Okay, um. Lucky Destiny Sans Destiny. Oh, that was Yuri. And Desire, Portrait, Melody, Charm, Sensation, Excited, Pal, Giggle, Bliss, Night Gone, Charm. Mm -hmm. Games. Um, Sunset, Breathe, Rose, Smile. Rose is for Sayori, I know. Love is lazy. Oh, damn it! Pink. Um, Lolly. Away. <sighs> Let's see how it's going to be. Uh, it's four for me. It's okay. We have time. Hey again, cactus. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. I'll save here. In just here. Don't worry. Not here. Okay. Just in case I have fucked up, we have two save files. Okay. So let's continue my return. Nah, nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word because I'm a man of, of words. I always keep my promises. Um, well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already heading up. Thanks for keeping your promise, Cactus. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into a literature when you are not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like he deserves any slack! So you'll be telling you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. Unless you too! And I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga's literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. 
Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Cactus always gave it his best. His best. I love his having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. So, Yori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Cactus can become good friends too! Uh, um. S Sayori. Huh? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Uh uh. Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori. Eh, eh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's uh, really nothing. What is it? Um, uh, never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's uh, really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, <clears throat> I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It will make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yeah. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I don't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss if you want. This, this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Yeah. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settling, I expected Monica to kick off some schedule activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So Yuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. <sighs> I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stack books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You, you read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can admit you are really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, I see. There's a long volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better! Seeing a back set with one mark meeting is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box that she's admiring. Parfait, girls. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can 
put it through the glass and that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the turn of your points. But I'll tell you one thing, Cactus. Consider this a lesson astray from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact... Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah. I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Don't just stand there! Uh, Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. Mm. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She bats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit her. Sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Uh, how much time it is? Um, let's leave it there, like I did with the previous recording. Um, this is all for today's episode. Um, well, like I well, there were a lot of things that I that you missed because I was stupid enough to not notice that the audio, the music volume was high enough so I'm deeply sorry with that, I made a lot of reference even I, even I made a joke with a with an actual meme of Ugandan Knuckles uh, so I hope next time on the next episode I can do other things so this, is, this might be a, a simple episode, uh, nothing new has happened so thank you guys for watching uh, leave a like, comment if you like, or well, if you want to tell me, Cactus, be a be a good boy and come back to us, or we need you there, and get good, because yeah, that's true. I need to get good. So yeah, bye guys. And next, uh, next, next UC time. <laughs>